Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey to Wisdom and Wealth. My name is Tara, so nice to have you. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly do appreciate it. So today it's a weird video and I'm going to keep it on the channel because it really is about budgeting. It is about the comparison in the budgeting space. If you're interested in watching, stay tuned. All right, guys, so I'm just stepping on the scene and I'm hoping I'm not being too controversial, but these are just things that I've started to notice about myself after joining the budgeting community hardcore. So I had another channel and I did a lot of random stuff and budgeting was a one big thing, but I never really searched out for all the other budgeters in the world. There are so many of you and you are so awesome. I'm so excited to join all the news channels. So if you see me hitting everybody and I'm up and you see me on everybody's comments, I'm awesome. I'm new subby, new subby. I'm excited to be there. Um, but what I'm also noticing is that I'm getting trapped up, I'm getting caught up in the trap of comparison. And I just want to talk to you about it in case you sometimes feel yourself doing the same thing. Don't. Okay. So, cause I had to talk to myself, like I'm talking to you right now. I'm going to try to not be lengthy in this video, but I just want to get my point across real quick. If you can relate to anything that I'm saying in this video, please definitely leave me a comment down in the comment section because I want to feel like I'm not alone on this. Maybe I am. If you don't feel that way, don't feel the need to comment. Either way, so some of the things that I noticed after watching a lot of the videos on budgeting is that nails, okay? So I have never had a problem with rocking my own nails. This one broke. It's fine. It'll grow back. And my nails are pretty strong. I don't use nail polish. I have used press-on nails in the past, but I find like the glue and the the you know the you know uh, buffing it down and all that kind of messes with my nails. My nails don't like nail polish nothing y'all i was really ready to bust out my nails because i have press on nails i have them i can pull them out for you you know what i mean but i was ready to put them on and be like oh if i do top down videos and i do cash stuff i gotta do nails because everybody's doing nails everybody's got pretty nails if they don't have nails they got nail polish they got something going on and i had to like stop and don't get me wrong y'all all this stuff i'm talking about there's nothing wrong with it if it's for you, it's for you. But I'm talking about me. Like, I don't wear nails. Why did I all of a sudden feel like I needed to put nails on my finger? I got perfectly good nails right here. So, I, I don't know. Just, if you're feeling this way, you'll understand where this video is coming from. It was on my heart to make it. Next thing is cash envelopes. Y'all, I've been using dividers for years. All of a sudden now... I'm making cash envelopes and I did actually make myself some cash envelopes because I really really do like the clear cash envelopes and I'm all about supporting a sister or brother in their shops do what you can if you can support somebody cool um but while I'm trying to save for a house that's not really in it so I had to like stop myself from buying a new hole punch stop myself from buying another clear envelope from a stop stop I just stop like I was like no you're doing too much I had already bought my humble home planner it wasn't a lot it was my first A6. I, I was A5, A6, one of them. I was super excited, blah, blah, blah. Cool. That was fine. It didn't run me too much. But then I was like, ooh, now I want a clear one. And now I want an iridescent one. Ooh, baby, I want a small one. And girl, I don't need no small one. But I like my money to be straight, not folded up. I was like, it's just, I was like, why? 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 I literally have the every decision I'm starting to make when it comes to the budget community, I have to be like, why are you doing this? Is this even something you want to do? So I did think about it and I did want my cash envelopes. So I actually made my own book. You guys will see that in my cash envelope stuffing. The next one I do, I made my own. I wasn't, I, I made it and I'm not, <laughs> it might not be beautiful, but it's mine. And I didn't spend no money because all this stuff I had already. And I got some stuff from the Dollar Tree. Boom. Next thing. Those planners, like I was saying, like the little wallety things. So people have cash wallets. People have, uh, y'all, I'm using a New York and Company wallet and I put my dividers in it. That's what I've been doing. It, it works fine. I don't know why now I thought that I need to get a cash wallet. They got the ones at Amazon. They got the ones, people make ones on Etsy. Uh, there's the binder, so the A5, the A6. I don't know the difference. There's different ranks. The personal, I've done learned all about it. I had no idea. Um, now you got the clear envelopes, the zippers, the non-zippers. Uh, it's a lot. So, yes, I got trapped into the whole get me a little A5 purple binder. It's a good idea. The person I watch 
had one and I was like, that's a great idea. And I still love it. I'm not mad about that investment at all. But I was about to go left and needed to buy more and more and more. And this is what I'm talking about. Super addictive personality. I have to check myself before I wreck myself. No, Tara, no. So if this is you, if you want it because it's going to be functional to your life or you have not actually decided on a system that works for you yet, yeah, try them all. That's how you know something's going to work eventually. That's different when you're testing products. But when you find yourself buying everything because everybody else is buying everything, sis, you're supposed to be paying off debt and you're supposed to be saving your money. Moving along, moving along another thing. Y'all, somebody comment down below to me, please, where all the single people at who budgeting. I need to know. And also, single people with no kids that are budgeting, I also know. Or if they have a kid, they ain't getting no help. Um, I, but I can't find them. I'm like, I feel like I know of three people. Me, The Crystal Method, My Budget Journey, and I think Budget Treasures. She has a kid, but I don't think she's getting no help. It's just her and her money. And I'm just like, that brings me to the next comparison. Money. Like, I start looking at people's budgets. I'm like, dang, that person makes like $4,000 a week. Dang, that person makes my whole monthly salary in one week. What in the world? And I'm like, and I get caught up in the whole, oh my God, why am I budgeting? Ain't nobody gonna look in. I don't got enough money to stuff these cash envelopes. People are busting out cash envelope stuffings, which are very popular on YouTube. Like, every week, they're stuffing their sinking funds, they're stuffing their regular, they got, how do you have $600 every week to stuff this? And then the reality of the situation is, sis, they're married. They have extra income coming in somewhere. They have partners that are helping them. Boyfriends, girlfriends, all these people helping them. Some people have child support helping them. Be realistic to your own situation. Do the best you can with what you have. Some people don't have none of that and they're just bossing. They bossing it up. They got side hut businesses. They have um, things going on for themselves. They get paid really well at their full-time job. Hey, more power to you. All I'm saying is, if it's starting to bother you, either level your own life up or learn to just accept what you're doing and budget with your money. You can budget your money where you are. I don't make that much, y'all. I take like $500 in every week. That's not that much in my opinion. I know people budgeting on $300 a week. They somehow managed to save more money than me. So it's not about how much you make, it's how you spend the money you make. Just remember that and don't get caught up in the hype about who has making this much money and who, because I did. I'm telling you all this because I found myself doing the same thing as well. <clears throat> Check it. I also want to say though, for those people that had a mindset, had, because I no longer have this mindset, had a mindset of, oh my God, all these people, they make so much more money than me. Why am I even bothering? Don't do that. What if, what if, what if is the language of fear? We're not doing that this year. We're doing even if, and that's the language of faith. That's what we're doing this year. Just think about it this way. If you see somebody making a lot of money and you're trying to figure out, don't go into the mode of, oh my God, they're making a lot of money. I'm comparing myself. I don't make enough money, but go into the mode of, let me go on their channel, find out what they do. What are their side business? What are the things that they're doing to level up their life? Maybe even contact them. Maybe they can be a mentor of yours. You never know. Stop taking it as a negative and turn it into a positive and figure out what these people are doing to make this extra money. If it's just a matter of they're married and they just have extra money and you're not planning on getting married anytime, it's okay. Focus on your finances. In the end, at the end of it all, you just have to worry about yourself. Like I keep saying, comparison is the thief of Joy. Don't let anybody steal your joy, y'all. Okay, another thing. <clears throat> Test off the envelope videos. Major, major, major thing on here, right? Like I was saying. So what I found was, girl, I almost was taking out my digital wallets stuff, which I have multiple accounts on Capital One because they're free. And I like just having automatic transfer set up. I like that. That what I do. <laughs> that is what I do. My sinking funds aren't a lot. I literally spend $50 in sinking funds because right now I'm in the process of saving for a house. And that is what's important to me. And then another $25 on another. So I really spend like $75 on sinking funds a week, which is actually a lot when I multiply that by four. So it's like, I'm not sitting and stuffing my sinking funds all at once and they're automatic. And I just, you know, I'm like, oh my God, how are these people doing this? And I was at the point where I was about to start taking the money out the bank 
to start making myself cash envelopes so I can start stuffing cash envelopes videos for the gram, for the tube. Really? Really though? Really, Tara? No! I like, they had to be like, Tara, no, we're not doing that. Our system works perfectly fine. Why would we do that? You already stuff your everyday cash envelope. Stick with that. You good. You don't need that much cash. I have a bad history with cash and people stealing from me. So that is why I tend to have things digitally. It works for me. I don't know where I was going. I don't know where I was going. Cash trays, you guys. Cash trays is another thing, okay? Everybody's got a cash tray. It's an acrylic one or people are jeweling ones. And y'all, they're so cute. I'm not going to lie. They're cute. They're an amazing idea. They started off as like everybody was getting cash draws. And they almost got me. They almost got me when they were sending cash draws. And I said, no. And then now they have the cash trays. And I'm like, oh my God, they're so cute. But being the fact that all I have is 20s and 10s to stuff, usually kind of makes no sense for me to have a cash tray, does it? does it now if you have a lot of denominations of money and you can fit it on your desk another reason i do not do it because it doesn't really fit on my desk all the stuff i'm trying to show you now barely fits on my desk so how am i going to fit a tra cash tray on my desk as well don't get in the hype if you want it you want to try it, you want to be cute you want to do all the things amazing but if you don't have room on your desk and it's about to be like off to the left people can't even see your cash tray though why why even bother do uh, listen it's not me telling you not to do these things i'm just sharing my thoughts on it next thing savings challenges oh my god don't talk about saying challenge now i'm hype okay i'm hype hype me up hype 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 me up okay i'm able to do some savings challenges this year last year year before that no ma'am i was not able to do no savings challenges saving challenges who saving challenges what not this girl i did not have the funds for that okay Girl, when I first started saving challenge, I didn't have money for sinking funds. I literally, when I first started sinking funds, put $20 a week. Uh-uh, last, $20 every two weeks into just a, a general um, savings account. I think I was called, it was called Just Keep Swimming. Just stay afloat, just keep swinging, and it was $20. There was no funds, there was no sinkings, there, we were just trying not to sink, okay? So, don't get caught up in what everybody else is doing. Do what works for you you do what works for you if you can do saving challenges, like now i'm hype i could do some saving challenges a year ago i couldn't do no saving challenges uh-uh i was too busy paying debt you have to take your process in the in the matter of space that works for you a lot of people look at me like okay tara you pay your consumer debt why don't you pay your student loans why are you freaking working on a house that's just the way I want to do it. It's budgeting my way. I want to pay all my consumer debt. Then I want to uh, manage my credit cards properly. And then I want to go ahead and save for a home. And then I'll tackle my student loan debt. You could be like, I want to do the bills. And I want to do I want to do my credit card. Then I want to do my student loan. Then I want to buy my house. Whatever way you choose to do, as long as it works for you, it's perfectly fine. If you can throw a saving challenge in there, girls, save some change. Do what you can, but if you need all your change, do not get pressed and stressed about the fact that you can't do a saving challenge. If you need to focus on paying off credit card debt right now, focus all your money on paying off credit card debt right now. If you really feel left out in the sauce, decide in your mind mentally for you that you want to do both. Do not do both because everybody else is doing both. I just want to have an encouraging word at the end here that says your goals, your goals are all you should be worried about. You and your goals. Drink your water, mind your business. Like I said in my video, uh, my other channel about stress, a lot of stress is given because we don't mind our business. Stop comparing yourself. And as I speak to you, I'm speaking to me. I had to check myself on a lot of, on all of those topics that I just talked to you about. I wanted to do digital budgeting so bad because I thought it was so cool, but I couldn't afford an iPad. And I was really ready to use like some sinking fun money, some this money for iPad. I was like, bruh, bruh, bruh. My grandmother literally out of nowhere, out of no way, I didn't ask her nothing. Just kept saying, save your money, Tara, save your money, Tara, save your money. I was like, grandma, what are you talking about? Save your money. And I was like, grandma has spoken. If you got a grandma like that, you know, 
grandma has spoken. If you got a grandma like that, comment in the section. She has said sp save, and that was in the time where I was thinking about buying an iPad, and I was like, bruh, we just gonna keep Google sheeting it up. We Google sheeting it up. Okay, I hope this message reached someone in the most positive light. I love the budgeting community. I think everybody's so responsive. Everybody's super um, uplifting. People really care about each other on here. They want to see you win, but also in your own mental state and your mindset, get your mind right to the point where you know what is working for you budget your way don't have anybody tell you what you need to do and what you need not to do if you want to accept constructive criticism and you feel like wow that is a great idea definitely do that don't be closed off to ideas however don't get caught up in the nails the cash envelopes the money girl pay your bills drink your water mind your business save your money this is what we're here for and we want to support each other a hundred percent that is really all i wanted to say it was on my heart i had to share it i'm going to share a verse from the bible that is so dope it's ephesians 3 2021 20, like the year 2021 20, it'll be up on the screen y'all now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us unto him his glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. I hope that you have a wonderful, blessed day. Y'all remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Faith over fear this year, y'all. Bye!